Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own cloud storage server using own cloud. Now, I'll be using a hosted uh, server. Many people are confused with this. Let me explain uh, something. If you want to store your data in the cloud, all you need is OneDrive, Dropbox. There's no need to create this type system that I'm going to be showing you. Now, if you want to create something like that, this is the tutorial to create your own cloud, which you manage and you have control and you can share storage space from that cloud. Now, I'll be using a hosted server, a hosted server, I'm sorry. There's two type of server, self-hosted and hosted. Self-hosted means that it's in your house, you can use a little computer that you have back there and turn it into a into your own cloud storage. But keep in mind, you have to uh, create proper backup and it requires uh, maintenance at least a little bit. And you have hosted, which means somebody else is hosting that server. In this case, I'll be using DigitalOcean through Cloudways. And among many advantages, it creates image backup of your files which is um which is extremely good you don't have to uh, make sure every day that is creating a backup in your home in case you have a self-hosted server again if you're looking to just save something on the cloud <clears throat> dropbox or onedrive would be great for you if you want to create something like that this would be the tutorial for it so now let's continue on first you need to go to cloudways.com all necessary links are in the description box below. You can either click on the green big button or start free trial on the top right. Once here, you can log in using any of the social media, which you probably might have, or just create an account. Once you create the account, click on free trial and it'll immediately send you an email to confirm your account. Once you click on activate your account now, you'll be directed to the create a server section in Cloudways. Now here, select your applications by clicking on your drop down. Select custom PHP app. Name your app. In this case, I'll name it on cloud. And then name your managed server. In this case, again, on cloud. You can select on cloud as your project, but this one pre-selected <clears throat> a project that I already have. Now select uh, digital ocean if it's not already pre-selected and the location nearest you. I'm in Miami, so I'll select New York. In this case, they're gonna charge me, but in your case, you might, you will get a free trial. I don't know if it's a month or two, and click on Launch Now. Once you click on Launch Now, your server will be created. It'll take about 10 minutes. Done. Now to access this server, we need uh, an FTP client. I'm using FileZilla. Again, all the necessary links are in the description box below. Just go ahead and download the client version and install it. Once installed, head over to owncloud.org and here click on download. On the first steps, click on download again, download owncloud server, click on the web installer tab, and here on the first step again, click on download. It should download, but in this case, it's opening up the file. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select it and then control A to select all the text within that file. And then copy, right click on the blue or, <clears throat> or click control C. Once done, I'm going to minimize everything here. Right click on the desktop, new text document. I'm going to open it and then paste all the content. You can right click paste or control V. Now I'll go back here to the web installer tab and copy the setup dash own cloud that PHP because that's a that's how we're going to name the file. 
file, save as, copy the setup-oncloud.php, save as type, all files, and then encoding UTF-8, and then click on save. Make sure it's, uh, you're going to save it on the desktop. Done. File created. That's what you should download from OnCloud, but for some reason, uh, didn't let me. Now, let's go back again. And click on the server you just created. And it'll give you all the necessary information for you to access uh, your host via FTP or SFTP in this case. Now, run FileZilla. Here it is. And then just copy and paste the information provided by Cloudways. So I just copy the IP address and then paste it into the host, username and password. Just click to copy. Then select port 22, quick connect. Check mark, always trust this host because it's your host, you created it. Now expand the root folder. I'll minimize here. Applications. Expand it. And here go into that uh, application and select drag and drop the uh, setup on cloud.php onto that public underscore HTML folder or directory. Once done, <clears throat> to access your own cloud instance, all you need is the IP, the public IP address and then forward slash setup dash own cloud dot PHP, just like you see it here. You'll get the wizard to install own cloud. Click on next. Here, click on next. It'll be it'll be installed. <clears throat> onto your own cloud directory once done click on next and again you're gonna need that information that IP address forward slash own cloud to access your own cloud instance from your devices whether it's computer tablet or phone now create an admin account in this case avoid errors and your password remember this is not your login information use your login information and your IP address. Now you can change the storage and database to MySQL MariaDB. This is for, this is a smaller database for a small amount of users. You can use SQLite, there's no problem with that. <clears throat> I'll leave it default and click on finish setup. Once you finish the setup, it'll take you to the login screen. log in and it'll be prompted to uh, download the application depending from where you're going to access now remember the ip address for slash own cloud is the information you need on your devices to access your cloud storage i'll close here now if you want to add users all you need to do is just click on on the right drop down users and create users you can add family members friends <clears throat> You can also manage their storage if you want 1 gig, 20 gig, 30 gigs by clicking on the quota drop down. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.